寝言を叩くなこの負け犬が This is Ashley with Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 most censored Beyblade moments. Now we'll show you what we can really do! That's a dress! Uh, you're not gonna wear that thing, are you? It's a dress! I remember. I know why this place haunts my dreams. For this list, we'll be looking at the scenes in Beyblade that were heavily edited or cut out altogether in the English dub. A massive shout out to Beyblade YouTuber Zanki for helping us out with our research on this video, so head over to his channel and give him some love. Did any of these moments deserve to get ripped, or should they have stuck around like Kai's face paint? Let us know in the comments, and as always, you can catch me on Twitter at AshJBo, so head over there, give me a follow, and let me know which anime list you want to see next. Number 10 Kai Dies Beyblade G Revolution One of the more harrowing moments from the franchise, Kai's battle against Brooklyn proved to be so intense and severe that in the end, he can't help but crumble down, his Beyblade shattering to pieces. Originally, there was no dialogue here, concluding with Tala crying in the hospital, signifying that the veteran Bladebreaker had perhaps died from his wounds. Of course, the dub couldn't even hint at something like this. Tala's scene in the hospital was completely removed while they gave Kai a mini monologue that made it appear that he had just passed out. Thank you, my friend. Too bad so much of the tension was drained out as a result. Number 9, No Blushing, Beyblade Burst. Oh, we finally meet. You're a hard guy to get an introduction to. You know, this is a typical human reaction, right? Well, not for those in charge of making the quickfire edits to the Burst series, who decided that the red on Ken's cheeks needed to be erased. Yeah, apparently any time a male character blushed on this show, it was edited out. And we honestly have no idea why. It's not like it infers anything lewd, it just shows embarrassment or excessive happiness. Were they worried it made the characters look too feminine and might distract their target audience? Come on. Hey, don't go! You're gonna join the club, right? Number 8 Boris vs. Animals Beyblade G Revolution The second time this villain unleashed his master plan, he wasn't so much an evil cultist as he was a glorified CEO. Out of my way, Mr. Don't move it! <laughs> much less menacing, but still deserved to be commended for nearly turning the entire blading scene into a massive pay to win scheme. You worms, how dare you! Do you know how much of my money I spent on Vega? The dub had him getting trampled by his former customers in a comic fashion, but in the original, he meets a much more vulgar fate. <laughs> Turns out birds and dogs really don't take kindly to him. Knowing Boris, he'll likely create an anti canine blader group in revenge. Number 7 Achilles Power Mode Beyblade Burst Rise. Now we'll show you what we can really do! This one's a little less to do with content not deemed, well, acceptable for children, and more in line with Hasbro flexing their corporate power in order to make sure nothing interferes with selling their products. Oh, me! Fans of the sub will likely notice that the scene with Iger changing Union Achilles to its alternate form is heavily chopped up. Okay, that's it! The reason for this is the GT layer system established in the anime was not present among Hasbro's Hypersphere toy line. Number 6 Name Changes Various 
This is just par for the course when it comes to anime being dubbed for Western audiences, and Beyblade was no exception. Drum became Dante, Akaba became Akabane, etc. However, there are some major tune-ups when it comes to the names of the blades themselves. Whoa! Venom Devilos! Despite stemming from mythology, a few of them evoked too much concern because of their religious connotations, and were swiftly changed to family-friendly versions. Satu! Crank up the dial! Instead of Satan, we got Satum, Diablos was changed to Devilos, Dead Hades got demoted to Dread Hades, and Kaiser Kerbeus now goes by King Kerbeus. <laughs> Number 5. Cross-dressing. Beyblade G-Revolution. That's a dress! Uh, you're not gonna wear that thing, are you? It's a dress! A sport about spinning tops potentially injuring the participants? A-OK. -okay. Male characters in dresses in what's meant to be a gag sequence? Not in our anime. <laughs> Considering any form of LGBT content in kids' shows was a major red flag over in the West back in the day, any allusions to such a thing would cut right out, even something as harmless as this. Here's the kicker though, erasing this scene robbed fans of some character development for Tyson, since it hinted he's got some underlying romantic affection for Hillary. Sorry shippers, you were done dirty. I didn't come all the way to Italy to put on a dress! Number 4. Prisoner in the Abbey Beyblade I remember. I know why this place haunts my dreams. The build-up to Kai's betrayal was a true highlight of the original series, a journey that took him through a mysterious and sinister abbey, concluding with the realization that he actually grew up there. <sighs> ah, ah, I frighten you, <gasps> young Kai? It was spooky and provided a decent enough twist for the antisocial blade breaker, but the original eclipsed it completely. How so? By having Kai encounter a prisoner in the Abbey, a member of Boris's personal army who had failed to carry out his will. <laughs> While we don't see any upsetting content, the implications alone were pretty severe. Number 3. Wyatt's Fate Beyblade V-Force Check it out! Uh -huh. uh, uh, uh. A rather peculiar subplot to add to the many crazy narrative decisions thrown into V-Force, Wyatt was an out-of-the-blue sycophant who desperately wanted to be Kai's friend, eventually signing up to become a user of the Cyber Bit Beast, a process that would eventually drive him mad. You're not mad at me? You guys are the best? It's good to have you back, buddy. This would lead Kai to get even more mopey and seek out vengeance for his buddy all throughout the season. Sounds pretty weird, right? Well, you'd be right. In the original, Wyatt actually dies as a result. <laughs> Heavy stuff, but at least it gave his character some weight. Number 2 Miguel Gets Messed Up Beyblade G Revolution In order to win, you have to be focused! I'm trying my best. We've had the spirits of ancient monsters create hurricanes, firestorms, and nearly end the world at one point, but seeing the humans who control them get socked in the face? Out of the question. Angered that his team aren't using underhanded methods to win their matches, Barthes resorts to violence against Miguel and Matilda by knocking them flat inside the locker room. <laughs> Doesn't ring any bells? Well, that's because it was completely cut out of the dub, which is a damn shame, since it adds a whole other level of villainy and tragedy to the whole scenario. I'm quite capable of handling this myself! Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure to go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. The Creator of Black Trancer Beyblade Back in the day, this bit beast was the be-all and end-all. I know this Beyblade. Black Bronzer. 
the color scheme, the ability to absorb other bit beasts, the fact it could apparently destroy pillars with ease, we all wanted it. Though it never crossed our mind as to how it was made. We just saw it chained down and our edgelord brains were immediately smitten. But drones are as unlike any Beyblade or bit beast known to mankind. Its power comes directly from the Beyblader himself. Well, that's because the scene involving its assembly was shafted, since apparently the one who made Black Dranza was none other than Rasputin. That's right, the lover of the Russian queen also made Beyblades in his spare time. We need animated flashbacks of historical figures playing Beyblade ASAP. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Watch Mojo and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.